talking to the ESE the ESL theater. <laughs> joke. Uh, my last video was a joke, maybe if you see the two together. In fact, I tell you, look for the other video where I'm using this book and making fun, okay? Acting very frou-frou. I said frou-frou. Check. Go through the site. You'll find it. All right. All... Well, this actually, this lesson is very specific. It's on all and every, okay? Mr. E, as you know, is going to help me teach. Okay. He's saying something right here is, all worm, worms are handsome, or every worm is handsome. Now, is this the same? <coughs> no, not the same. And we're going to work today to figure out what is the difference. The reason why I put this one up here is I have commonly students say, all time, all people. Now there is a way you can say all time or all people, but you have to be careful how you say it. Today we're going to learn the difference, why and when you can say something. All right. Now, the first one I want to work on it with all and everything, I'm actually going to do a conjunction. I'm going to put every, but I'm going to put every with everything, because I want to, want to give you something right out. Okay. When we say all, when we talk about all and every, and everything. Yeah, I'm just going to move this in a little bit, make sure you get it on the board, okay? So, one second. When we talk about all and everything, the very basis, I mean, you know, let's do it this way. When we talk about all and every, here's the first thing you have to know. All means whole. Every means individual. It's related to each. Okay? When we talk about each thing, we talk about one thing. Now, the problem with each is like it only means one plus one plus one. When we say every, we mean each, but we mean it as a group. So it's individual, individual, individual things in a group. That's why when we say things like, did you eat all of the pie? It means the totality, the whole pie. But did you eat every pie? That would be individual pies and many of them as a group, not the same. Group, whole, that's all we care about. Every, what we have is this. We have a circle, and we are talking about the group, but we're talking about all the things in that group as individuals. Understand? I know you do. <laughs> okay. So we talk about the whole as one piece, and this, you consider it like this, as one, and this as the parts of the whole. Good. So, the first thing we're going to look at is all and everything. Here's something you say, a lot of people say when they're in relationships. I like that. Let's say this. I'm oh, sorry. Magic of television is going to go on. I've had his health food today. Or, um, let's look at that. We got two statements. All I've had is healthy food today. Everything I've had is healthy food today. When we say all in this case, don't mind me having to get rid of this, make it give us a little bit more room. Okay. When we say all in this particular case, and everything in this case, although the statements are similar, the meanings are not quite. All in this case means only. Okay? The only things, right? Only. In this case, it's Everything included. All the things. Remember we talked about dot, 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 dot. They're saying everything I've had, all the things are healthy. In this case, they're saying only healthy things. Everything else is excluded. Cool. All right? So if you say something like, all I've done for you, it means the thing 
the thing I've done for you or nothing but this thing, while everything would be all the things I've done for you, all the little parts. Okay? Cool. So the first thing we would do was all and everything, because they're not exactly the same. One is inclusive, meaning all parts. The other one is singular, meaning one part. Okay? The next thing I want to do is people. This is where people make the biggest mistake with all and everything. Now, here I'm going to put this. It's either going to be every body or one. If we were to say, as a group of people, we can't say all people. Now, I lied to you. If you say all people have two eyes, that's what we call a truism. In that case, you can add all to a noun, but you're saying everything in that category, or all things in that particular group. Okay? And that's got to be true. So you can't just say it as a general statement unless you know that general statement will be true in most, most cases. So that sounds a little high. Okay, it's an intermediate lesson, but it might be a little bit high to get. But the idea is, you cannot say all people when you mean you're talking about a group of people in a general way. You, when you say all people, you must mean all people, all humans, period. Okay? There's an old saying that goes like this. All men are mortal. If you've ever studied philosophy, it's one of the first things they teach you. All men are mortal. Meaning, all men will die. It's not a group, just it's some men, but all men of all time to be a man is to be mortal. And then it says Socrates. Is a man. And from there they say, therefore, therefore Socrates is mortal. Okay? But you notice, this has to be for all men in all time. Now, I'm telling you this because usually when we have all, we use prepositions. And the two prepositions we use would be with all, all of, or all about. These are the prepositions we usually use. When we use every, we usually use nouns. Everybody, everyone, every time, every place. And that's one of the big differences. And even sometimes with every, we join them together or we can have them separated. Now, in another lesson, I'll teach you the difference between what, what is every place and every place separated, right? Or every one separated and every one together. There is a difference, and I'll teach you in another lesson. Today, I just want to go through the comparison here, okay? So this one is usually joined with nouns. This one is usually with prepositions. This is especially important when we talk about people. When you want to talk about a group of people, you can't say every people. Or all, so you can't say all people which a lot of students like to say. They say all people enjoyed themselves at the party. Okay? They will say something like, instead of, or, body, enjoyed themselves. Sorry, I'm sure it's Enjoy, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Now, why? Do you remember we talked about all being the whole group? And then, if you remember the explanation I gave you with all people, when we talked about Socrates. Well, not all people went to the party. A certain group went to the party. This is why the preposition of is so important in this case. When you use the preposition of, it talks about one part of a group, or one part belonging to a group. So when we say all of the people. The people is very specific. It's the people at the party. So it's not the whole group of humanity, all people. It's the people at that party enjoyed themselves. The article the means specific. So this specific group, specific group of people enjoyed themselves at the party. When we said everyone enjoyed themselves, we mean each person at that party. So we don't need to use that preposition. We just use the noun, which is each and every part. Which ones? Every one or every body. This every individual person or every single person or body. Okay? Maybe we should change this lesson to advanced lesson. Now <laughs> that I think about it. So when we say every in this case, we can say every body or every place because we mean each individual case. While here, we need this preposition, and that's why we use it a lot, to say all of this particular group. Alright? How was that? Not so bad, right? So the next time you're talking to your friend and you go, 
I was at a party the other day. All people loved it. It was great. You go, <clears throat> my friend, with your Faulkner book, of course, my friend, you do realize that all is the entire group. In this case, it would be all of humanity. And all humanity was not at the party, I guarantee you. Some of them weren't even human. So you must say all of the people, the being the operative article to say all of this particular group of people enjoy themselves. But why even do that, my friend? Why don't we say everybody enjoyed themselves and make it easy? Yes? Because each person at the party enjoyed. Now you understand. Cool? Now here's another one that students make it a problem with. Now, if you remember the preposition of is here, so keep this in mind when I teach this. All right? Because it's not going to be exactly the same. Now, you saw this when we used it for people. So why don't we stop talking about people, but why don't we talk about time, which is another category people make mistakes on. All. Okay? You could say all of the time, but we say usually say all the time. Okay? We usually say all the time. And on the other hand, we usually say every time. Careful not to join this one, okay? Every time. Now remember what I said at the beginning about all and the. I'm going to write it on the board for you at the end. But one talks about the whole group, and one talks about each and every event and time. So when you say all the time, you are late all the time. Translation. See this A and the L? It generally translates to all... Oops, you know what? I want you to remember this. It means always, and it's all the time, because the is making that specific. All the times we meet, or all the time you do, all the time that you do for this particular activity, work, eating, or something, right? All the time, it means always, and that's why the is there to make it very specific, okay? Now, when we say every time, it's not quite the same. It means each each and every occasion. It means each individual time on every occasion. occasion. If I say you look different all the time, always different. Always. Never the same. If I say you look different every time, each occasion is a little different. Okay, so we're looking and we really care about the individual parts of it, more detailed. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to wrap this up. Okay, so now when we look here, all worms are handsome, and every worm is handsome. Not the same, right? You got it. So this means the entire category of worms is good looking. Well, this one says each individual worm, in this case, He looks very handsome indeed, don't you? <laughs> well, he is a handsome worm. Anyway, quick lesson up here. So we've got all and every. Just keep in mind, the one thing you should walk away from today and understand, I'll do a further lesson because there's also whole, all and every, and blah, 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 more. But when we talk about all and every, the two things you should have, or keep in mind, are this. All, think whole. All right? Think whole. And think preposition of is a good one. Or about. Tell me all about your day. That means the complete story about your day, right? Or all of the people enjoyed the party. The whole group of people at that party. When you think everything, or should I not everything? When we think every, think each. Each, okay? And think nouns. Literally, person, place, or thing. Know that each one can be used for things, but specifically, both of them can be used for time and people. Alright? As I said, we're going to come back with another lesson later on, in which we go through why every, every can be joined with the noun, or sometimes every and the noun is separate. Alright? Look. I've taken a lot of your time. I don't want to do this all day. Time, all day, the complete day. Every time I meet you, each and every occasion, I hope you learn 
English and learn it well. All right. Listen, I'm out of here. Um, I spent all my time talking to you, and every time I do this, my girlfriend gets angry, so I get split. Have a great day, but before I go, you need to go someplace. You need to go someplace special. It's where all the good students go, and everyone improves. They always say they've been to this place. At least I'm teaching you still. Please go to www. No, I'm not going to say please. This is an order. Go now. Do it for your country. Do it for your woman. Do it for your man. Do it for me. Okay? Go to www.ing, as in English, vid, as in video, dot com, where there will be questions. Actually, a quiz right after this and uh, other teachers and other lessons for you to learn English, all right? Have a great day. I always enjoy doing this, all right? See you later.